Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you that how you can integrate uh, the jQuery data table into your project. It is an open source uh, JavaScript library which uh, is used to manage the uh, like table data which we have into our project. So let's quickly look uh, look into it. So <clears throat> so what you are gonna do is so let's start from very beginning so you will be having a very simple HTML page and then in that page uh, you will be having some table correct this this is the data present in the table now for this d jQuery data table to work uh, you need let, let's go to the website official website of jQuery data table so if you search on the uh, Google about data table jQuery you'll be uh, able to see the datatables.net and as soon as you open that website datatables.net you will be landed upon this page so to start with like it is showing that it is like to integrate the data table is very easy I mean you just need to follow three steps and you'll bingo you are able able to in integrate the data table into your project so for the CSS you need to include this uh, you know link for JavaScript you need to include this and you just need to have this little bit piece of code into your HTML so for the documentation purpose you can go to the full getting started guide so let's uh, go ahead and integrate it so what I have done is I went to the full getting started guide I came here and then let's go to the installation so it is saying that you need to include these two lines of you know code into your HTML page so first is for CSS and another is for JavaScript the date jQuery data table.js although you can download it as, as well and then include it as a part of your project but I'm using currently through the CDN only so I just copied this link and included the CSS link at the beginning and the head part of the project and the script has been added to the uh, at the bottom of the body okay and just remember one thing that to run this jQuery data table you need to include the jQuery.min.js any version of jQuery.min.js so I went to the jQuery CDN I copied this uh, CDN link and included it in my project so I'll be closing this okay so as you can see I've included it after that if you see this page at the very beginning when when we came so it says that you just need to write the small code so let's copy this code the let me comment out the existing code which I have so that you'll be able to understand what is the difference between this simple data table so it is saying that you need to include my table so what is the I mean what my table denotes my table is nothing but the ID of this so its ID is example 2 so we'll be putting example 2 as ID of this data table and let's go ahead and reload this page so I have already saved it at my desktop so I'll be opening that and see all your data has been managed by the data table so you will be able to see the pagination as well uh, you'll be able to filter it out uh, and you know do the ordering filtering as well you can do searching as well so let's me let me search something it is doing that okay now this is the very basic version of this data table now what you need to do you want to have some more options to this data table so what you are going to do you can pass few more parameters to this data table so let's say you want to enable the paging or not uh, you want to change yeah, enable the length change or not so let's say it is false for the very beginning you want to enable the searching enable the ordering info auto with responsive it should be responsive or not so this all options you'll be able to if you go to the data table documentation and if you go to the option section of this you will be able to see all the options which you can have so there is one link full list of options. let's open that 
So if you will be opening this, then it, I mean, lists down all the, you know, options which this data table can contain. See the length change, ordering, paging, anything, processing. So processing is also one of the very important topic which I'll be covering in the later section. So let's stick with this uh, options for the timing. So we want to include the paging and all, but we have put the searching as false. So let's reload this data table and see the changes. So see the searching is gone, the length change is gone, only basic data table is staying here. So let's enable the searching by making it true and reload it. So see, now we are able to search it as well. But uh, here one thing to note is that all the data which you are able to see as in the form of pagination as well, all this data is present at the client side and like data table has, you know, managed the data on the browser itself and it is showing you at the client side only. So every time you are going to some different page, it is not going to the server and like, you know, getting the data from the server and showing. It is all managed at the client side. So this is called client side processing of the table. Another uh, scenario which you have is the server side processing. So currently we are only understanding how to do it, uh, you know, client side uh, manage the data using the client side processing and later on we are going to focus on the server side processing so if you go to the full list of this uh, you know, options so you can have it from here you can you can refer it from here you can see the definitions of these options and then you will be able to you know make your data table work according to your id i mean your requirement so let's say we have an option let's try to implement that we have scroll y as 400 so let's put this scroll y option into your data table so let me put it let me put scroll y as 400 now, as soon as, let me make it 300. So, as soon as I make it 300, then you'll be able to see a scroller here. It says that, okay, with, like, it does not, I mean, the length of the table does not depend upon the number of records which you are able to see. So, even if we change, so let's, let me enable the length change as well. So, let's make it true. And if you reload it, then you'll be able to change the length of the table. So let's change, like let's load 50 records for the timing. So even if we load 50 records, it, I mean the length of the table did not got affected, correct? So this is the uh, relevance of scroll Y. Uh, so this is one of the options. And uh, so that's it uh, for the, you know, the client side processing. And we are going to uh, soon, cover the server side processing as well in in the server side processing every time you make any change in the data table whether you are clicking on the second page first page you are ordering something you are changing the length every time a request will go to the server and all the processing will happen on the server side and you will be just getting the records out of server and you'll be able to show it in your data table so that's it for today thank you and uh, you'll be able to see the github link in my description box thank you if you like my content just like the video and subscribe my channel thank you